unfortunately does crack sometimes. The other China glaze is code 1290 and this is more of a, a neon pink. This one is fantastic. I wore this one last year. Um, I believe, you know, these probably sort of came out when um, with Nicki Minaj. Um, she was quite It says number six. It's possible it's a three zero zero nine, but the main code is number six. And I do always enjoy Maybelline um, nail varnish. It has a, a lasting effect, and it's um, got a wider brush, so it's a definite for me. The other pink is from Rimmel three two three. Um, it's a lot. is a china glaze. Uh, the code is 1203. Um, it's a lot more brighter I think than the um, previous rates and you probably need to do a few more layers because it's quite thin but um, it's very good once it's applied. Now this is actually my favourite rate. Everyone's always saying it's like very blood, blood red, and that's a Rimmel 327. I've worn this several times, and I enjoy the fact that the brush is very wide, and it applies very, very well. And then we have the Rimmel Red, which is 506. This one um, as well. 
just sometimes wanting the rain but not as, as strong as the ones that you see here today. Now this is going into an orange tone. Um, this is 341 and that's Maybelline. Now it's one of my favourites. You've seen this on my video for um, when I'm doing show and tell on jewelry. is a uh, Rimmel cocktail colour 110. I wore this as well and it's fantastic. It's got a fabulous shimmer to it. Um, well actually it sparkles um, because it's got um, some fantastic uh, glitter in there as well. Now this one is actually my first Sally Hansen. Is another Maybelline, 
it's like a two-tone purple. I have tried it actually and it's got a really good um, shimmer to it. But it seems to be quite thin. Um, so I'd apply it uh, three times. But it does stay. Now this is an absolute favourite and you guys have seen this on some of my videos. And this is a China Glaze. One, two, three, four, or code eight one three five nine. I absolutely love it. It's got a fantastic shimmer, very, very deep. Um, the only downfall with the China Glaze I find is the brush. It's very thin, and you know you have to be quite precise with it. But once it's on, I mean, come on, it's it's fantastic. It's a fantastic colour. Oh, you can tell I love that. So I was given actually and it's similar colour to the one I just showed you from Dry the Glaze and I can't even open it <laughs> so um, I think I'll give it a miss <laughs> right this is really really pretty <laughs> it's a um, Maybelline colour showing 265 now it's got a very sparkly shimmer to it several tones of the shimmer um, I suppose it's like a pink pinky purple tone now I did have to apply it a few times the only thing is it looks fantastic in the sun but sometimes when you're not in the sun it can look quite dull I've also had this on my toes so again it looks fantastic when the sun picks up the, um, the sparkles even the sparkles they're like, I don't know, they're very, very different. This is a purple glitter, purpley, pinky glitter even. Actually, <laughs> maybe it should be a little bit the pinks. And that is 836 uh, L'Oreal. Um, I did wear this um, once and, and I did enjoy it actually. I think again it's probably better. own um, another fantastic winter one that I've wore around Christmas um, NP176 now these initially do come out um, quite um, matte even and quite dull but once you put the um, top coat on a clear top coat they're absolutely fantastic it almost gives like a 3D effect I really enjoy going This is more of a red, red and white glitter from NYC 005. It's actually called Red Hot and I think I'm getting it everywhere but it's um, a fantastic glitter. Um, I haven't had a chance to really wear this yet but, but I plan to. So. And this is a pink um, Sweetie Crush from more of a neon colour and 
this is 60 second Rimmel 819. I love this. I love the um, very strong shimmer that it has to it. And as always, the wide brush. And it's just really fun. It's actually a really fun one to wear. Get a bit messy now, aren't I? <laughs> right, we have models own again. Sorry, not shimmer, glitter. Absolutely fantastic with the glitter. This is Rimmel 700. And I love this. Well, it's more of a teal. Um, absolutely fantastic. And very, very bold. But the only thing I would say is that when you're removing this one, it does stain your skin quite badly. However, I'm hoping my new technique of removing nail varnish is going to help. Now this one's NYC 006 and it's a, it's a glitter with black and green. Oh no, <laughs> looks like it's gone everywhere but I haven't um, had a chance to put this one on. is colour control and I won't read the label because I never could read it. So um, I mean it's so tiny it's shocking <laughs> but I plan to wear this one. I haven't worn it just yet. Now we have a yellow. Now this yellow is a bit of a joke. When I applied it last summer being darker it honestly looked like I had turmeric on my nails basically. I didn't really like it. The code is 749. Now, I think maybe it'll probably suit somebody with them, um, definitely somebody with a, um, a lighter skin tone. I'm not sure. Or maybe even a darker skin tone, but I was kind of like, yeah, it didn't work for me. But, I mean, I won't give it a shot. Now, these next two is actually what I'm wearing. So I started with the Colour Couture Base. Now I have to say, I did not enjoy using this brush. Um, it came out quite streaky. But luckily, because I was using it as a base coat, it didn't matter too much. And then I topped it with the Sweetie Crush 008 Sorbet Sweetheart. And that is the uh, sparkly top coat. the two put together. Now the thing is with the Sweetie Crush they are quite thin so I'm glad I put base coat on and it gave it a much better effect to it. Now I just hope I don't um, drop them. <laughs> trying to keep them as far back as possible. I do have, unfortunately, 
do like this. It's kind of got proper seal, like the seal of elements in there as well, which is quite interesting. And then we've got the Avon, which is silver glitter. No, silver gold, sorry. Gold uh, glitter. And I really, really like this one. Um, and it's definitely towards the uh, colder side. It's just a uh, standard black, which is no point to show. And 
is actually China Glaze and it's 629 called Black Diamond. So it's um, it's got a very metallic -y look to it. I really enjoyed wearing it but applying it was awful. It's very thin. So I think I'm sure I pushed like four, four layers. Maybe I need to put a black base on before. Something. 